guys and welcome back to my channel. It's really nice to have you as always. Today I thought I'd share with you guys some tips on travelling with a sketchbook and how to capture some of those amazing memories in a really special way. So let's get straight into the tips. So tip number one is quite an obvious one. You want to choose compact supplies. I have a range here of different paint palettes that I like to take with me whilst travelling. This one is a little tin that I actually made myself. So if you want to learn how to make your own, I'll pop in the card above right now, you can go check that out. Um, this one I like taking out and about because you can choose the colours, but I'm not sure if I trust that it doesn't leak in the suitcase. So that's where I would opt for maybe a more professional one that you know is not going to, you know, leak all over your clothes if you're going abroad. This one is a Windsor & Newton palette and I would say this is quite... Ooh, I would say this is quite a budget palette, so when you're first starting out, this is quite a good palette because you have quite a lot of colours, you get a little paintbrush with it, which I seem to have lost, and I don't think it was that expensive. This in fact is my favourite palette of watercolour, which is the Gold Class Mission, which I think I spoke about a lot on this channel. I have an unboxing video, which I'll link to here if you want to watch that. And these are just, I mean it looks a little bit messy and gross in there, it's well used, but the colours are so vibrant. This one is a bit more expensive, so you've got to bear that in mind, but it's very, very good. And also, whilst we're on equipment, I would definitely recommend one of these paintbrushes that actually holds the water. That way you don't need like a little jar of water to take around with you, and it's definitely easier. You don't always get the same control, but if you're just doing quick sketches, these are fantastic. And again, this one looks very grubby. They normally just look clear. Moving on to sketchbooks, I like the Moleskine Watercolour Sketchbook, which is this size. I'm not sure exactly what the size is. I wonder whether it says it anywhere. Moleskine? Moleskin, Moleskinny, however you say it. Um, this is the watercolour album cold press, 200 gram paper, and the size is 21 by 13 centimetres. So that's how big that is, which is perfect. It fits in my little hold all suitcase, and it can even fit in your handbag. And the pages are pretty nice as far as sketchbooks go. And this is the one I've just recently filled up. So yeah, I would really recommend this sketchbook if you're traveling out and about. Okay, so my second tip is to learn how to sketch quickly. You know, you don't wanna spend your whole holiday just sat painting and missing out on actually going out and seeing things. So this tip I think is really important. Unless you are gonna be in a certain place for a while and you can just sort of relax and paint for a long time. But I know in my case, my husband Nathan, you know, he doesn't always just want to pause every 10 minutes to watch me paint something. So I have learnt to sketch very quickly using pens. So generally what I will do is if I see something that I really want to capture, I will quickly just sketch it out in my sketchbook with a pen and then I will go on to paint it later in the day or at a more convenient time. So the pens that I really like to use for my travel sketchbook are the Copic Multiliner, which is waterproof, and the Micron. I mean, it's all the uh, all the stuff's rubbed off, but I can't quite see what it is. But as I say, I'll link to everything in the description box. So with the waterproof one, this means that once you add water and paint onto it, the ink won't move, it won't budge. So they're my favorite pens to use. A travel sketchbook is not the type of place to be perfect. It's the type of place you just want to quickly sketch something out and it can be very loose and you can work on it a little bit later. Which then leads me on to point three, which is take photos of everything. Photos are so important because when you're in the moment you might not quite be able to finish your painting and that way you can go back later and add some details and even write something about that place and that memory. So take loads and loads of photos and then you can use them as your reference and you can even use them when you get home on a much bigger painting if you'd like to delve more into that certain type of subject so it's really really important clear that phone memory and get taking pictures point number four is to save little mementos mementos that you can work into your sketchbook 
and it really just creates another dimension to it I feel. It just gives it another bit of interest. One example of this is when I went to France, we went to Bordeaux, which is obviously where a lot of wine is produced, and we went to some vineyards, and so I'd take the labels off the bottles once we drank them and put that in my sketchbook, and it just feels nice to be able to remember like certain names of wines that you had or you know, that sort of thing. So it's really a nice idea to save little things. It might be a napkin from a place you ate. It could be a boat ride ticket. It could be a subway ticket. Anything like that is really special. I am a collector of things. So for me, it just goes hand in hand really together with a travel sketchbook. Point five, which is my last point, And that is to not be too precious. Being precious about a sketchbook is like buying a pair of shoes and never wearing them outside because you don't want to get them dirty. You have to just play around, experiment, not worry too much, just let it all, just let it all go in that sketchbook. <laughs> that can be your private place, you don't have to share it with anybody, you can just put down whatever you want, even if you think this is probably not going to work, I want to do it anyway, I want to use that certain colour or I want to capture that weird sign or lamp that doesn't have anything to do with anything but I just like the way it looks. You know, this is your place for you to experiment and don't have any expectation of that. I think this point is really important because, you know, you do see a lot of sketchbook tours on YouTube and these perfect sketchbooks that are just a work of art in themselves. And while they are amazing, that is not what a sketchbook is intended for. Let it look used, let it be messy, let it be a place where you can document your thoughts and the places you've been, and that's what will make it really special to you, rather than having some clean, crisp, documented artwork that, you know, just sits in a drawer. So I know it's summer season, a lot of people are going on holiday, so I just wanted to make this video to encourage you, if you're going away, take a sketchbook, take your pens, paints, anything that you can to just document your holiday because in some ways it's better than photos when you look back through it. Okay, so have an amazing week guys and I love you all a lot. Thank you so much for your amazing support and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!